Now, how often do you find a freehold property that's located right beside an MRT station and also with a mega mall right at your doorstep? So today we're in District 8 taking you to City Square Residences. Now let's go check out this tree beta. Alright, so let's switch things up a little. We're going to dive right into the pricing today before we kickstart all the information about the home as well as the development. So let's take a look at the CCR region, the core central. If you're working in the core central region and you're looking to live inside the CCR zoning, then definitely if you're looking for something freehold, your per square foot pricing would definitely be in the 2000 to maybe 2500 odd per square foot range. So living just about five to 10 minutes down the MRT line, let's have a look at what are some of the options available. So you have a couple of 99 year leasehold properties within the vicinity of Farrah Park MRT. The one that has just attained TOP in 2019, that's 30 residences. The average per square foot there is going at close to about 1,700 odd per square foot. For City Lights, TOP in 2007, per square foot is going at 1,005 odd per square foot. At Carriesdale, TOP in 2005, that's going at 1,002 plus PSF. Let's also compare some of the new launches in the area. There's a slightly smaller development known as 1953. This is a freehold tenor. The average PSF is going at 1,009 to 2,000 per square foot. At Uptown and Farrah, which is also a new launch, this is a 99-year leasehold. Average per square foot pricing is 1,900 odd per square foot. If you come to where we are here at City Square Residences, this is a freehold development and it's right beside the MRT as well as having a mega mall for all your daily necessities and things like that. At the price that we're asking, we're looking at 1.96 million. So that puts us at about 1626 per square foot for a 1206 square feet 3 bedder layout, which I think is very reasonable. And another thing to add is also this unit has just been renovated about 5 to 6 years back. The owners have put in close to about $100,000 in renovation as well as fittings so it's almost moving condition so stay tuned we're going to show you around the home there is three full-size bedrooms a living dining a full-size kitchen as well as a utility and yard area the main door has already been equipped with a digital lock system this is like a gate man type of a digital lock to be left for the new owner and what I like about having an entrance foyer zone is you have dedicated zones for storages that's flush against the wall right here. This is actually your uh, DB box, so fiber optic is also installed already, so it's plug and play. There's also some storage below for your shoes. Similarly, over here, there's an extra storage space as well. You can definitely do in shelvings to put more shoes. Along the entrance foyer, it is also laid with wallpaper right now. So this in this very neutral uh, tone. So I think it's easy to complement your furnitures. And as you enter, our owners have done up additional storages through cabinetry, top and bottom. So I think you can definitely put in a very good number of shoes. And it also acts as a privacy divider as your family is actually lazing or watching TV in the living room zone. Floorings have all been overlaid in the living as well as the dining areas in vinyl tiles. This is actually the northwards facing. So you have a very good north-south facing of the unit right here. So your main door faces south. Uh, your windows here actually have the northwards direction. So definitely a lot of natural breeze if you open up the windows right here. Uh, no afternoon sun. And if you have kids, though, you'll be glad to know the window grills have already been installed. So this is done up in your living as well as in the bedrooms as well. So there's some cost saving there. Viewing distance from the couch is great. You have like a three-seater couch, but you can definitely put in up to an L shape. There's still like more space on the left as well as right. You can put in like small coffee tables also if you like. The TV console, done up in this neutral tone as well. The glass has been used for some of these storage spaces so that you can put in your digital boxes. So very thoughtful by the designer. Uh, more storages here as well, display shelves, as well as this like cubby nook right here. And in this corner right over here, there's still an extra space. So if you like, you can actually fully flush with more cabinetry space. Or if you like, you can also put in like a mini study desk area or work desk. <laughs> This is your dining area zone. Comfortably fit in a six-seater. The pendant hanging lights are also installed already, so this adds to the cozy, warm ambience of your dining area. So if you come over here and have a look at this entrance walkway into your kitchen, the owners have cleverly actually moved this doorway so you get a more unobstructed dining. 
Previously, the doorway was in right smack in the middle of the wall here. They've kind of moved it to the right hand side so that you have a dedicated dining zone here. There is a sliding door that's already been installed for your kitchen. Because you're doing heavier cooking, then you can definitely enclose your kitchen. The kitchen area is great size. You have your cooker hood and hob installed. All Bosch There's also an oven that's been installed as well. Sink zone is over here. This is Blanco sink. It's an undermount type of sink, so it makes your cleaning easier. And then you have this, my favorite thing, this cozy thing is back again right so I think that's great to have especially when you're doing your dishes and there is also a dish rack that's already installed bloom system so very high quality stuff Countertop space is sufficient for preparation. So after you cook, you can kind of place your dishes right over here. If you need more storage spaces, this wall I think is where you can probably do up even more carpentry space above your fridge as well as over above this countertop area. And this leads on to a very well ventilated yard. Laundry zone, you have enough space for a top and bottom washer, dryer kind of stack. This is the utility room. So if you have a live-in helper, they can probably use this room as the live-in space. And if not, then this can be your dedicated kind of storage space. If you're using this for your live-in helper, later on we'll show you where you can essentially build an additional storage space. So this is of course your WC. Uh, the owners have removed the water closet. Uh, but if you want to reinstate back, that is also possible. The drainage is still left behind right there. Earlier on, we mentioned about alternative storage zone. So in this corner, I think it would be great. You can do up like a partition board with a sliding door. So this can function as the alternative storage room space. Before we head into the bedrooms, let me just share with you more about the development here at City Square Residences. Now, fun fact. City Square Residences was actually built on top of the land that used to house New World Park, which was Singapore's largest amusement park back in the early 1900s. Now, City Square Residences was developed by the CDL, City Developments Limited Group. There's a total of 910 units spread across 6 towers, 28 to 30 storeys tall. The development sits on a land of about 190,000 square feet. The unit distribution spreads from 1 bedders all the way to 4 bedders. There are a total of 15 3 bedder stacks. Now for this 1206 square feet 3 bedder, the MCST fees is a very reasonable $293 per month. So what kind of facilities do we get here at City Square? One interesting one that we saw was the bowling alley that's located in the development itself. So City Square Residences is a full facilities condo. You have a clubhouse that has a gym, you have the kids pool, kids playground, your lab pool, there's a karaoke room as well as uh, two good sized tennis courts. Alright, so let's check out the common bedroom. Very good sized common bedroom. Right now there is a single bed that's placed in. You have space of course for your side table as well. And then wardrobe space will be tucked right in this corner. You can definitely do up a full height one if you like. And something to note is in all the bedrooms, you will find these bay windows which can be converted into usable spaces. So one of them is you can definitely build up like a study desk right over here as well. If not, you can just use it as like a cozy reading corner. The owners have already laminated this in like vinyl so it has this uh, wooden tone going for it. So yeah, so I think the common bedroom is very good size. ACs are of course installed in all your bedrooms as well. So common bedroom number two has something interesting done up. So let's head in to take a look. There's this uh, platform bed kind of already done. So this is one other way you can utilize. Uh, this is actually the bay window. Right now it can fit up to a single bed. So you just need to buy a mattress, put it on. So you have kids. I think this is very suitable. And of course on top of that, you have spaces for all the toys right below. A lot of deep storage space that goes underneath. And that also means you get more space to even put in like a huge study desk if you like. Also interesting is this bifold wardrobe door. So the internal wardrobe system is all adjustable. So your shelving heights and all that are all customizable to your preference. So I think the common rooms are a very good size because there is still space. You know, right now there's a shelving for books. But if not, if your child is having piano lessons, I think you can even put their piano right in the room itself. Now heading into the common bathroom, what I like is that it is done with this enclosable sliding door so it doesn't eat into your bathroom space. Tiles have all been retiled and relayed, so almost brand new. Standing shower zone is great, there's also shower screens already done up. Something interesting about the sink is that it is done in this one piece type of a setup. Mirror is right here at your sink area as well. Heading into the master bedroom. So the master bedroom has a few things done up. They have done up this little platform. So it has like a separation of space between your walk-in wardrobe space to your sleeping zone. Right now there is a queen size bed put in but there is sufficient space to go up to a king if you like. Our owners prefer to kind of sleep and face out towards the pool area. 
But if not, you can also reorientate this to kind of have the direction facing inwards uh, to have your PowerPoints on your left and right hand side. You can also chill out here, you know, do some reading right here or just have a chat with your partner, you know, before going to bedtime, right? So master bedroom is good size. What I love is also this walk-in closet concept. So there's huge mirrors on both doors. A lot of detail has been done up as well. You have like four full drawers with locking systems so you can keep your valuables in there. So in the master bathroom, our owners have actually moved the sink location to make it a bit more um, usable and to their preference. So this used to be where the original sink was, but right now you actually get more storage. So there's like drawers, so you can store all your toiletries and accessories right here. And the sink is actually located behind the door over here. I think it's a very convenient location because if you are kind of like brushing your teeth after your shower, you can just head out and do that. Good shower space as well, rain shower already installed. And all the towels I think in this bathroom has been retiled as well. Let's head back into the living area. So for connectivity, you have the nearby Farrah Park MRT station just across. So you can get there in under 5 minutes. And this takes you to Dobby God Interchange, which is the interchange stations for three main lines. You have the Circle Line, the North East Line, as well as the North South Line. Shopping malls around the area, of course, you have City Square Mall, you have Serangoon Plaza, you have the 24-hour Mustafa Center for your late night shopping and grocery. For primary schools within one kilometer, you have Farrah Park and Stamford Primary. And within 2 kilometers, you have Hongwen, St. Joseph's, Bendimir, as well as ACS Junior. Famous food centers around here, you have the Berse Food Center, as well as the Sungai Road Laksa at Kitchener Road. For recreation and parks, you have the Jalan Besar Sports and Recreation Center, City Green Park that's located right in front of the City Square Mall, as well as the Som Road Playground and Park located right beside City Square Residences. So if you're looking for something freehold that's right beside an MRT as well as a mega mall, this is currently priced at 1.96 million negotiable, which puts us at about 1,006 odd per square foot, which I think is very reasonable in today's market. If you want to come down to have a physical viewing at this ready-to-move-in three-bedroom, uh, give our listings manager, Ayu or Alan a call. Uh, the link is right down below. I'm Mark from Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Nice uh, silver light -like finish, right? And in the master bedroom, right beside the. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. So the master bathroom feels huge because uh, uh, there's some real. There is. 